High-performance automobile manufacturers seldom talk about comfort. It's all about scorching 0 to 60 times and lofty lateral g-forces. But McLaren engineers want you to know that this, the 570 GT, is tuned for civilian use. Now starting at just over $200,000, 215 is tested. Malibu and Camry are in no danger of losing market share to this. No, it does not float like the Oldsmobile your parents drove. Compared to the 570S model, the GT here softens up the front suspension firmness by 15%, the rear 10, and then there are special tires. With a unique composition, tread pattern, and a foam liner of sorts inside, road noise is cut by three decibels. Stuff more acoustical material into the cabin, and the GT is better for road trip duty. At warp speed, if you're confident law enforcement isn't around. From rest, 60 miles an hour is just 3.3 seconds away. I've been fortunate to drive some exotic high-performance machines lately. This and the Porsche 911 Turbo S get my vote for best everyday driver. It's not squirrely at all. I'd be happy to tackle hundreds of miles from behind the flat bottom steering wheel. Top track speed is 204 miles an hour. I'm taking McLaren's word to avoid the county jail. Those special rear tires are driven by a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8. That is tough to see. But lovely to hear, there's a whisper of turbo whistle. 562 horsepower. 443 pound-feet of torque are on tap. Compared to the S model, the exhaust note is muted. I'm not complaining. A seven-speed dual-clutch automatic is smarter than most pilots, but there is a manual mode. Driving dynamics can be tailored to your mood. Since the exhaust sound is neutered a bit, it helps to hush the cabin appropriately uh, for a car of this ilk. All right, this is not a really quiet car. You won't be thinking to yourself, eh, it's just like an old Lexus. Pushing the 570 to its lofty limits on public roads is a bad idea for so many reasons, but I can tell you the rear drive dynamics are loads of fun when the pavement bends hard. Obviously, few people buy cars this expensive, but vehicles like this are very important because they pioneer high technology that eventually trickles down to everyday cars. Perhaps the 570's carbon fiber tub chassis structure will be common in the future. Shaving weight improves fuel economy. McLarens aren't saddled with a gas guzzler tax. Anti-lock brakes showed up first on supercars. As you might imagine, these are very good. The auto start stop system can be turned off. Buyers are free to choose from many different leather and stitching combinations to make the car their own. Built in the United Kingdom, 570 feels more handcrafted and small volume than cars from Mercedes AMG and Porsche. Some of the pieces border on art. Not much storage in here. Everything from the transmission operation to the unique touchscreen interface takes a while to get used to. The power seat operation... <laughs> by Braille is perhaps the worst I've used. Uh, do I need to mention there's no back seat? Visibility out the front is quite good, but glad this is standard. It's easy to scrape the chin on low-slung cars. A front lift helps. Considering its class, there's some practicality here. For those long road trips, a standard-sized suitcase and a purse will tuck into here, but wait, there's more. A second piece of luggage is on display. Make it the better looking bag. The swept silhouette in aluminum is especially impressive in person. McLaren might want to increase their marketing budget. Most eyeballs that lock on to the exotic shape have no idea. Delivery. Awesome. What this car is. The 570 GT could be the most outrageous way imaginable to travel anonymously, comfortably, and rapidly.